Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to my channel, I hope that all of you are having a good day. Today's video is going to be about 10 fragrances from my collection that in my opinion deserve more attention. You can call them hidden gem type of fragrances. Now all 10 fragrances that I'm going to show you are either clones or fragrances that are inspired by more expensive designer and niche fragrances and as I said I think they deserve more attention for what they can offer. Cheap price, good performance and good scent profile. The first fragrance that I'm going to show you in this video is going to be from Fragrance World. This is one of their older fragrances uh, that's somewhat known in the community but I think it deserves more attention for what it is. The fragrance is called Starman Nebula and this is a clone of Mugler's uh, Amen Pure Malt. A fantastic fragrance that unfortunately has been long discontinued, it's very hard to find and if you look for a full bottle, full sealed bottle especially, you're going to see some crazy crazy prices. So if you're looking for an alternative to pure mode, definitely check out Starman Nebula from Fragrance World. Now this especially in the opening is not very accurate clone wise, you know scent wise, this feels a lot uh, sort of uh, low quality. I don't, it doesn't feel as sweet and as dense as the opening of pure malt but once this starts to dry down it actually gets surprisingly close to pure malt and as far as I know this is one of the uh, very few alternatives to pure malt out there on the markets. Price tag is also very cheap especially uh, in North America from what I've seen this goes for somewhere like 20-25 dollars. If you enjoy my videos guys I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me and it also motivates me to keep doing uh, useful content for you. The second fragrance in this video comes from the House of Swiss Arabian and it's called Shagaf Oud Azraq. And in fact I just did a full review of this video and I'm going to link it into the description of this one. But if you don't know how this smells, this is a fragrance that has a very strong uh, Middle Eastern vibe to it. The opening is quite harsh and challenging, a mix of oud, honey and some spices. But the dry down becomes a lot more enjoyable, very unisex, very sweet, you still get that oud. But uh, it's mixed with uh, some strong vanilla and uh, tonka bean and amber notes. So it's very sweet and very unisex. Performance here is a fantastic, uh, almost beast mode performing fragrance with very strong projection. Price tag is relatively low, about $35. I think this is sort of a limited edition of a fragrance, although it's a... Uh, Somewhat easy to the next find. fragrances uh, will be from the House of Armagh. The first one is part of their Odyssey line and it's called Odyssey Out. Now this is a uh, this is the Armagh stake on the uh, initials Wood for Greatness DNA. This is straight up clone of Wood for Greatness. Now it's not as strong uh, and uh, I think it's a little bit more wearable compared to Wood for Greatness and also compared to Latafa's Wood for Glory. This is less spicy, uh, less uh, woody, it's a little bit sweeter, feels a little bit fresher and a little bit more wearable, a little bit more airy. So if you enjoy Wood for Greatness but you think that uh, this fragrance is too strong for your nose, uh, definitely check out uh, Odyssey Wood from Armagh. The fourth fragrance in this video and the second Armagh in this video is going to be Armagh Legacy. This is a relatively less known fragrance, uh, at least from what I've seen in the community and this is a great alternative to Chanel's Platinum Egoist. It's not a straight up clone, it lacks a bit of that metallic sharpness that you get out of uh, Egoist which is that fragrance is known for. But apart from that this is a very very close to uh, plat Platinum Egoist. It's uh, woody, it's spicy, it's musky, slightly fresh, has a sort of a, a old school vibe to it, very gentle money, uh, very uh, wearable, it's very versatile as well, has very good performance, uh, very low price tag. The only thing that I don't like about uh, Legacy is again the goofy bottle design which feels really really cheap. Uh, but apart from that, this is a gem of a fragrance in my opinion. So if you're looking for a very cheap alternative to Platinum Egoist, a little bit more wearable version of Platinum Egoist, definitely check out Armaf Legacy. The next two fragrances uh, will be from the House of Mason Alhambra. The first one uh, from the Mason Alhambra uh, fragrances and the fifth fragrance as a total in this video is going to be Victorioso Victory. A very goofy name, uh, very goofy looking bottle, very cheap uh, cap. Uh, all, when you initially look at this fragrance, when you you know touch the bottle and the cap, you'll think that this is uh, you know complete garbage. But uh, 
to my surprise this turned out to be one of the most uh, accurate clones that I have ever tried uh, in my fragrance journey so far. This is a clone of Paco Rabanne's uh, Invictus Victory and as I said it's an incredibly good clone of that fragrance. Scent wise this is almost uh, the same as the original. It's really really uh, to pick up uh, the differences between this one. Really hard to pick up the differences between this one and the original scent. The opening here is uh, slightly citrusy, slightly spicy and the dry down is sweet and it's all about the mix of uh, vanilla, tonka, bean, amber. Uh, a very wearable fragrance, very versatile fragrance and also one other fact is that the performance of the clone of the Mason Alhambra version is uh, practically the same as you get with the original fragrance. It's dirty cheap, costs about $20 or 20 euros here in Europe and as I said uh, it will get you super super close, unbelievably close to the original scent of Invictus. And Victim. the second uh, Mason Alhambra fragrance in this video and the sixth fragrance in total is called uh, Jane Lowy Ombre. Of course when you look at the bottle of this fragrance you immediately recognize what this is trying to be and that of course it's trying to clone a Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. It's a very very decent clone to Ombre Nomad. You get a, a magnetic cap although the, the magnets are really weak but still a nice touch. Uh, all in all scent wise this will get you let's say it uh, quite close to the original scent. If you don't know how uh, Ombre Nomad smells, that fragrance is all about the mix of wood, leather, rose, a touch of fruitiness uh, and uh, also some sweetness from amber on the dry down. This feels like it has uh, some suede leather notes in here. Um, as I said, it would get you quite close to the original scent for a fraction of the price. Louis Vuitton fragrances tend to be very very expensive. This thing costs I don't know, something like 35 to 40 dollars, at least here in Europe. Uh, presentation is nice, uh, scent wise it's nice, performance I'm still testing this one out but so far seems quite adequate above average. The next average. two fragrances will go to be uh, from the house of Rue Broca and the first one is called Rue Broca Luminous. Now this is a very interesting take on the Savage Elixir DNA. What Afnan and Rue Broca have done here is taken that original DNA and put an interesting fruity twist. Uh, they've added a black currant note in the opening of this fragrance which uh, really makes it uh, unique. The dry down is very close to the original scent. Performance here is decent, above average 7 to 8 hours of performance with nice projection. Price tag is crazy low, this goes for somewhere between 20 to 25 dollars. The only thing that I don't like about this fragrance is the bottle design and the very very cheap cap. But uh, if you're looking for an interesting alternative to uh, Savage Elixir uh, DNA as I said uh, with a unique twist, fruity twist to it. Uh, for a low price you can definitely check out Rue Broca Luminous. And the second Rue Broca fragrance in this video and the eighth in total fragrance in this video is called Rue Broca Hooked. Very interesting uh, bottle design, a very heavy bottle. The cap is very reminiscent of an Afnan fragrance called 9pm. Although this cap is a little bit uh, smaller compared to 9pm. Uh, so you cannot change between them, <laughs> just an interesting fact. Uh, this fragrance is a clone of Scandal Per Ohm, to my nose to the EDP variant. I don't know if a Rue Broca tried to do a clone of the EDT, but uh, the end result to my nose is closer to the EDP. It lacks that uh, freshness up top that you get with the EDT and goes uh, straight into the, that very sweet territory that the Scandal Per Ohm EDP goes to. Scent wise this is actually surprisingly close again, it will get you very very close for a crazy low price. As with the previous fragrance that I showed you Luminous, this thing is crazy cheap, about 20 to 25 dollars. A little bit harder to find but uh, if you can get your hands on a bottle of Hook then you like uh, Scandal Per Ohm, either EDT or EDP and you're looking for a very cheap alternative, definitely check out Hooked Per Ohm from Roy Brock. The ninth fragrance in this video is going to be again from a sub-brand of Afnan but this one is called Zimaya and the fragrance is called Zimaya Sharaf Blend. An absolutely fantastic clone of Killian's Angel Share. I think currently on the markets the best clone that you can get of Angel Share. Still somewhat hard to find uh, the availability is still uh, not uh, great at the moment but if you can get your hands on a Shar of Blend and you like uh, you know Angel Share definitely do definitely check this fragrance out. Bottle design is fantastic, packaging is fantastic, the whole experience that you get is uh, top notch. 
price tag a little bit more expensive compared to most of the fragrances that I showed you here, maybe somewhere around about the $45 to $50 mark, but it's absolutely worth it. As I said, I think this is the best clone of Angel Share, at least for the moment, uh, on the markets. Performance here is fantastic, projection is fantastic, complement factor is, you know, through the roof. All in all, as I said, if you're looking for the best possible clone currently available on the markets of Killian Angel Share, definitely check out Shar of Blend from Zimaya. And the last fragrance in this video is going to be from the house of Orientica and it's called Orientica Exclusive Oud Blue. Very interesting bottle design that's uh, somewhat reminiscent of a bottle design from uh, the house of Al Haramen and their Amber Oud line. Some people may even think that uh, Orientica and Al Haramein have something in common. I'm not too sure, but I think uh, Orientica might end up being a sub-brand of Al Haramein. The fragrance here, the scent in here, is a super fantastic clone of Parfum de Marlis Leighton. And when I say super fantastic, I mean it. Absolutely fantastic uh, scent profile, super high quality. Uh, you definitely won't be, uh, once you spray this and you smell it, you won't think that this is a cloned fragrance. It's that good. It's In the opening, it's slightly fresher, uh, feels slightly fresher compared to Leighton. Slightly less woody and a little bit fresher, maybe a, a touch bit, a little bit more spicy, but it's super, super close in the opening and the dry down is almost identical to Leighton. And uh, dare I say uh, that this even has better performance on my skin than Leighton. Now, price tag here is a little bit, uh, you know, higher compared to uh, most clones out there. I had to pay about $70 to get this bottle, which is 60 milliliter in size. So a little bit more expensive, but still uh, about half the price, even less than half the price of the original fragrance, as I said, with even better performance than later. So, so far from what I've tried, you know, clone wise, this has been the best alternative to Leighton. It comes from the house of Orientica and it's called Exclusive Oud Blue. So in today's video, I showed you 10 clone fragrances from my collection that are so good that I think deserve more attention. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.